It's turkey time! everyone! In today's video I'm going to show you how to achieve this fancy Thanksgiving makeup look. This look is perfect for if you have a big family gathering, if you just want to show off your makeup skills, or if you just want to look good for that handsome man in your life. Or if you just have a fancy party to go to and you're a single girl like me who's saying, yes boys, this is what you're missing out on and I am just here for the stuffing. So if you're ready to get all glammed up, then let's just gobble right down to it. Let's just jump into the tutorial. Alrighty, today we are going to start with Max Blush in the color Gentle and, again, my Bare Essentials Flawless Face Brush. I've already applied my foundation, my contouring, and my brows because that would just be a snooze fast and a half. If I'm sick of watching myself put it on, I'm sure you are too. So what I'm doing with this blush is I'm just going to concentrate it at the backs of my cheekbones and then slowly pull it forward, blending in circular motions the entire time. And this will come as a surprise to no one. I am using Becca Cosmetics Highlighter in the color Champagne Pop. Yes, this is taking YouTube by storm and it's obvious to see why. It's the perfect creamy, buttery highlight that smooths on your face very well and it also gives you that nice sparkle without being too overwhelming. I wanted to have a little bit of fun with my lip color today, so I decided to go with a lip trio. The first is a lipstick. This is by NARS and it's one of their audacious lipsticks and this is in the color Anna. This is a beautiful mauvey pink tone, but I wanted it to just be a little bit warmer, so I grabbed Disco Rose and I place that right on top. Then I grabbed a MAC Dazzle Glass in the color Baby Sparks and I wanted to add a little bit of fullness to my lips so I placed it right in the center. Mm. Would have been good to clean my brushes before I filmed a tutorial. Oh well. Close enough. Big to get in the frame. <laughs> Big as my face. <laughs> Using this ginormous palette, this is BH Cosmetics Neutral Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. None of these have names, so I'm just going to show you the colors that I used. I grabbed a nice neutral and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. You want to work this in windshield wiper motions back and forth into your lid. This will make all your eyeshadows blend out beautifully and it will transition them from dark to light seamlessly. Yeah, just when you think you have everything prepared, you have dirty brushes. Go me! Then I picked up my favorite brush, this is Sigma's E25, and I dipped it into that smoky dark purple shade and I'm going to work this into my outer V. Especially with darker shades, you want to make sure that you use a light hand. To ensure that you have a light hand, you want to hold the brush all the way back so that the end is almost resting in the crook of your hand. For light feathery motions, back up on the brush, and to pack on color, choke up on it. Hey look dad, a sports analogy. You're welcome. And then we're going to use our blender brush and blend out any harsh edges that may have been created. Then we're going to pick up a crease brush. This one is old school, it's from Tony and Tina. And we're going to dip it right back into that same dark smoky color just to define our crease a bit more.
then you want to blend, my babies. Blend. Next, we're going to pick up a pencil brush and we're going to blend these two colors together. Then I'm going to place it just beneath where I put my crease color. This will give a nice ombre smoky eye effect. This is kind of a quote unquote casual version of a smoky eye. I don't know. Let's just go with it. Then we're going to pick up those same two colors and now we're going to smoke out our lower lash line. I took it from the outer corner to about two thirds of the way in and then I picked up that same blender brush and blended it all out. Then to ensure that that lower lash line is smoked out yet still soft and pretty, I picked up this flat shader brush and dipped it into a soft brown shade. Then I'm going to trace it right along my lower lash line and smoke it out. Now to incorporate a bit of light into the look. I picked up this baby brush and I dipped it into the lightest color in the palette and used it not only to highlight my brow bone, but also to bring a lot of light into the inner corner of my eyes. Now to bring dimension to the lid, I picked up this light, it's kind of a lavender off-white tone, and I put this all over my lid using my fingers. Then I'm going to use another finger and I'm going to dip it into that light shade, the one that I used to highlight both my brow bone and my inner corners. I'm kind of packing it on to make sure that the sparkles go nowhere. Hmm, not really sparkles, more of a sheen, but you want to make sure that you pack it on because these shadows are so soft and buttery that they do tend to transfer. Make sure to really pack it on and it'll go nowhere. Then blend it all out again. Surprise, surprise. Then I'm going to use Max Fluid Line in the color Black Track. This is my favorite eyeliner of all time. It's the best gel liner. It dries immediately, but it's still very smooth and workable. I highly suggest it to anyone who's looking for a perfect eyeliner to use every day and for special occasions. So what I do is I just place this on the outer two thirds of my eye, winging it out, and then tracing whatever product I still have left underneath onto my lower lash line. And my camera gave out on me before I was able to put eyeliner on my lower lash line onto my right eye. My right. Your left. Yes, that's right. So I did it off camera. You'll see the finished product in just a second. I also popped on some mascara and some lashes. These are by Velour Lashes and they are in the style Strike a Pose. This wouldn't be a Thanksgiving video without me telling you the things that I am most grateful for. The number one thing that I'm most thankful for has to be my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's the only one who truly understands me because, well, he created me. And it's because of him that I know true peace. If you don't know who Jesus is, or if you've only heard rumors of his amazing goodness, please feel free to send me a message. I would love to talk to you all about him and his amazing grace. The second thing that I'm most thankful for has to be my amazing parents. My mom is truly my best friend, and I can't go a day without seeing her, hugging her, and telling her how much I love her. If you are fortunate enough to be close to your mom, please don't let anybody make fun of you for it. I remember back in high school and in my college days, I would get some crap for hanging out with her, and I wasn't really sure why, except for that it may have been rooted in some jealousy. So please don't let anybody say anything negative to you, and if they do, just ignore it. Remember, your life is your life. You get to choose exactly how you want to live it. And if you want to be your mom's best friend, and you want your mom to be your best friend, Go for it, girl. No negativity, no judgment, and no shame. Live your life the way you want to live it and forget the others. Who needs haters anyway? And we can't forget about my sweet daddy. He does everything he can to make sure that my dreams come true. Whew, sorry. I've been really emotional about a lot of different things lately and just recounting all of the things that I'm grateful for makes me realize how privileged I am to live this life and how many things I have to truly be grateful for. <laughs> I may just need a second. I am also very thankful for my Irish dance family. Everybody at Celtic Steps has truly embraced me and they inspire me every day to continue to chase my dreams because they really truly support me and I am eternally grateful. I am also truly grateful to be living in this country and for all the opportunities that it affords me. As the world out there gets scarier and scarier,
I wish to thank each and every member of our military. Thank you for being willing to sacrifice your life so that I can live mine peacefully and happily and safely. God bless each and every one of you, and I pray wholeheartedly for your safe return. I really didn't expect to get this emotional during this video, but it just goes to show you how grateful I am for you and all that you do for us. And last but not least, I'm so grateful to be here on YouTube chasing my dream and for all of you who are out there supporting me and my dream. Thank you for commenting on my videos, for liking them, for subscribing to my channel, and for basically sending all of your love, kindness, and positivity my way. Thank you. And before I just turn into a big blubbering mess, I best go, but I would love to know the top five things that you all are grateful for. Just leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll be seeing all of you in next Friday's video. Happy Thanksgiving!